Welcome back to Wo Long Fallen Dynasty. In this video, we are going through how you take down Zhang Liao, which is a boss that is found in part five of the game. Now, this one's a little bit different to the rest of them. This is actually quite a tough boss. I did only die once to it, but compared to a lot of bosses in the game, like the most of them I haven't actually ever died to. There's been some that are time consuming, some that are aggressive, some that are passive. And Zhang Liao is a tough boss, not because of the attacks he does or anything like that, but the effects, the abilities, the skills, the perks, whatever you want to call it, that this dude has. What I highly, highly recommend with this is make sure that you like explore the main battlefield. You find all of the marking flags, the battle flags. You find absolutely everything to raise not only your fortitude rank, but your morale rank as well. You are going to need it to be either the same level as the boss or a little bit higher. This dude is going to hurt you because you spawn into this fight and instantly there's a divine beast coming out of nowhere and it shoots a load of lightning down and you do get access to this divine beast for yourself afterwards but this divine beast is really really powerful and not only does it spawn or summon a load of lightning in the area it also enchants or imbues or whatever you want to call it it basically gives Zhang Liao's weapon the ability to deal lightning damage as well so Zhang Liao is using a divine beast also using elements and is going to attack you with lightning and it hurts <laughs> quite a lot but there's also still your critical blows your fatal strikes everything like that this boss fight the arena is not like too big it's not too small i'd say it's a little bit on the smaller size and you're going to have two companions with you by default but as i said i recommend build up your morale rank then jump into the fight let your two companions like it's pretty much the same as a lot of bosses in this game let your companions take point take the aggro see what this boss is doing in terms of the attack moves figure them out then practice with your timing for the deflect. Remember, in Wolong Fallen Dynasty, the game is about deflecting, like, basically as you are getting hit. It's not a moment before, it's not a moment after. In order to master the timing, you need to time it so that you are deflecting as you are getting hit. And this boss likes to vary the speed of attacks. Some come in really fast, some come in really, really slowly, and some have a medium sort of pace to them. So it's going to be tough to master the timing of your deflects because there are different times of the attacks, like different timings for certain attacks. So it might take a little bit of practice, but with your morale rank higher than the boss, you're going to deal more damage and take less damage yourself. With the two companions, you have a big opportunity to sit back and learn exactly what this boss does. And then you've obviously always got your divine beast there. I use the resurrection on Ching Long. I get the massive health pool. It sits there and regenerates my health. It revives your companions. It heals your companions. It's a really, really good divine beast. I've used it throughout the entirety of this game pretty much ever since I got it. But that's my recommendations. You want to try and get close to Zhang Liao whilst avoiding the lightning wherever possible. Be careful because some of the attacks will really hurt, but you can also deflect the lightning attacks. It's not just about deflecting ranged attacks and melee attacks. You can also deflect the elemental attacks which is really, really helpful because I think this boss would be an absolute nightmare if that wasn't an option in this game. But those are my recommendations, my tips for taking down Zhang Liao. And that is going to do it for this video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about Wolong Fallen Dynasty in the comments. And check out this video if you want to see other content on the channel. I will see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.